Okay, so now we're going to create a shooting flame effect. The first thing we're going to do is to create some different layers to rotate them and give volume so that the final effect can also be applied using the modifiers and effects from the grease pencil object list. With that in mind, we're going to create a shooting hand effects. So right where we left off previously, we're going to create a new collection. And in our case, we know this is going to be named as a layer. So in this case, I'm going to name it layer 07 for the shooting fire from hands. And I'm going to set the visibility for, the all, for all other layers off. I'm also going to change the viewport color and switch off uh, the 3D cursor and relationship lines. Then I'm going to divide the layout. I am going to create two different windows and then drag and drop image references for this exercise. Now I'm going to create a new grease pencil object and then a new layer. I'm going to call the layer shooting fire. And then I'm going to uh, press 1 on my numpad so I can have a front ortho view. And then I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to name it shooting flame matte for a material. And then I'm picking the colors right off the reference, the image references I have. Now let's create the new material, or rather the copy of the fire material we previously created. Select our brush and select the material from the drop down list. Now let's drop long fire columns. Because the idea here is to be shooting long rays of fire. So I'm going to create the first main column for this effect to work. Let's separate another layer to create the other side of the fire flames. I'm going to name it middle fire body. I'm going to switch the material backwards. I'm also creating some embers here. And as you can see, it's totally flat, drawn on the same plane, on the same frontal plane. But now we're going to, we're going to create another layer by duplicating the first one, or in this case, the last one. Because this one is going to be shown from the lateral view. So I'm going to go into object mode. I'm sorry, into edit mode. I'm selecting everything. I'm sorry, I need to turn that off. All right. And now I'm going to switch it, rotate it around on the Z-axis 90 degrees. I'm rolling my mouse over the top menu so I can go back onto the draw mode. Now I can continue to draw. On any other layer on, on any other grease pencil layer I have but this is the main idea basically we have now a dimension on this 2d body to be represented as flames so I'm going to rotate this layer as well and this time I'll do it arbitrarily just to get some kind of variations there
Now the origin, it's in the middle of the belt. And what we want is to translate everything we've drawn on the layers back to the origin. So I'm going to select all the layers. I'm going to move them to the origin and then finally I'll go back to the object mode. So now whenever we want to manipulate this object, the origin is placed at the base. Right now I'm going to duplicate this fire flames, rotate it, and place it exactly where they are being shoot from his hands. You can use the rotation tool in case you need the gizmos to be rotated on local views. Or you can also rotate them on global view. And now let's stylize this some more by entering into the sculpt mode on the second grease pencil object. And I'm going to use my Wacom digital pen using the the right click on my digital pen, I'm sculpting to stylize these flames a little bit more. Alright, now let's add another point light. And as you can see, this will help enhance the effect as to where the light is being emitted. In this case, the flames are supposed to be very intense in light, in lightening the scene or the character. So I'm going to go for a value of 50, very intense light. And while I have selected this one, I'm going to go to hue and saturation. I want to saturate a little bit more what we already drew. Now this is the, the fun part on this that you can continue to pause editing the grease pencil object on all the strokes you already did. So right now I'm going back to opacity to just lower it a bit and also I'm going to apply it on the effects tabs the uh, wave distortion. This is the selling effect since it's going to create a natural wave distortion around the fire. Thus giving the fire a little bit more organic look. And now I'll duplicate the other light since the other uh, shooting flame should also emit light in this direction. And I'm then I'm going to switch off the armature so that this objects uh, fade off basically. Um, switch off from the viewport and there you have it shooting flames <laughs>